One of the best features on the Zorro 8530 uh, HD satellite receiver <coughs> is actually its built-in media player. It's absolutely fantastic and it's pretty much, apart from uh, the, one of the other Zoros we have in the range, it's the it just it plays pretty much nearly everything you throw at it's absolutely brilliant okay so the best thing to do when you're using uh, it as a media player you're probably best to use it off a hard drive rather than a memory stick um just because you can store more stuff on it and it's faster transfer rates stuff like that okay one thing to note though is that if you are using a hard drive for media player purposes you shouldn't really be using it for recording your TV shows as well. With, with a lot of PVR receivers, actually pretty much all of them, they don't like you mix, mixing and matching stuff, okay? So you're better off to keep a separate one for your uh, media files and one if you're going to be using it for recording. The other thing that I would say, I'd said it in a previous video that by default we, you know, you should really format your hard drive to FAT32. Um, with the media player, Probably not so. You're probably best to leave it at NTFS because a lot of files, video files these days are rather large and they won't actually be supported by the FAT32 file system. So for media player purposes, you're best to use NTFS, okay, to format your hard drive, okay? Now, to access the media player functions on the, on the Zorro 8530, all you have to do is simply hit the menu button. You can arrow across to the USB menu, okay? Then arrow down to multimedia. Okay, now within this you can play music, photos and movies, okay, and you can actually access your recordings as well if you do decide to put them on the same drive, although again, we don't recommend it, okay, but just as regards, we'll start with the music first, okay, I just have a hard drive plugged in and I have some sample files on them of um, things that we might want to play, okay, so you can see here, I just turn the volume up a little, Hopefully you can hear that. That's an MP3. That's a WAV file. And that's a WMA file. So the three most common types of files it can play. So that, that's great and very handy, okay? So I'm just going to exit out of that. Um, now I actually have no photos on this drive, but it'll, it'll do the likes of JPEGs and things like that, the common formats. The movies is where it really comes into its own, okay? So I'm going to go into the movie menu. And go down to my folder here where I have the stuff. Now on this drive, uh, it's what we use for testing. I have maybe twenty odd, uh, twenty odd uh, movie clips, all of different formats, and it pretty much played them all, bar a couple. And the couple of wouldn't play. What you should be aware if you have uh, file formats that the audio is encoded uh, with DTS, it won't play that. But it'll pretty much play everything else, and also. It wouldn't play the Windows Media file WMV, but nearly everything else that I threw at it, it would. Okay, so you'll see there. There's uh, uh, that's becoming increasingly more common. Our uh, MKV files to be high definition video files. Okay, you just play that by hitting the OK button once you have it selected, and it just comes up in in kind of a thumbnail preview window. Okay, so if you hit the the big red button in the bottom left, you can make that full screen. Okay, so I'm just going to exit out with that for a second. And then other common ones, actually pretty much the most common one that you'd see around the place is an AVI that's encoded with XVID and MP3. They'd be by far the most common ones are available, okay? So I'm just going to play that. And uh, I'll just turn the volume up a bit there for you. And I'm going to hit the red button to make it full screen. And that's it. So it's absolutely terrific. I mean, as I say, it pl it played pretty much nearly everything we threw at it, bar the Windows Media uh, Video Format, the WMV, and the, any file that was encoded with DTS, which would be unusual. Um, most of them aren't encoded with that, most of them would be like MP3 or something like that and it played them all fine and it worked great so you can see for yourself there um, it's a terrific little media player and just one of the extra features available on the Zorro 8530 HD satellite receiver.